I'm Matt and I'm with Plot. Today I'm going to be showing you Carta Smart Measuring Wheel. I'm going to show you everything from the unboxing to the actual assembly of the product and then how to map out your first project and then all the cool features that come with it. All right, to open the Carta box, you've got two tabs here, which you can flick out like that. And then you have these two up tabs, which you can open and then the box unfolds itself. Then you've got this foam insert where everything's included inside of it and this pull tab. So you're gonna grab that pull tab, pull the foam out of the box. We're just gonna move this box to the side. Now I can open this up. Then I can put this on its side open it up and everything I need to start a project is right here. So you've got a pretty basic manual. You've got three batteries to put in your card up and then you've got the wheel and the telescoping handle here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put the batteries into your wheel. So I can flip this open. When I slide this spoke around, you'll see the battery insert here. With any screwdriver, I can turn to unlock this, and then I can pop it open with this tab here. Then I can go ahead and insert my batteries. And close and lock that up. The next thing you're going to want to do is put the telescoping handle onto the wheel. So there's a lock here that fits right here. You're going to slide that in. I can then twist this to lock it in place. I can then use this tab to extend or shorten my handle. And the foam holder is right here. So I can go ahead, take my phone, open this up, and place it right in there and I'm ready to go. Carta has two line drawing modes. There is free line mode, as well as straight line mode, and they each have its own purpose. In free line mode, it is best used to draw closed shapes with varying curves and lines. You can draw any kind of irregular shape, any curve of a project, anything you would really need to do and end up accurately back at your starting point. For straight line mode, there's a built-in compensation where it only allows you to draw at straight lines and angles. This is best used for when you're drawing perfect squares or just a linear straight measurement and all you're worried about is getting an accurate linear measurement. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is power on your Carta. Hit the logo until you hear a single beep and you're good to go. Then I'm gonna open up the app, select Carta and start a new project. From here, I can label my project, whatever I want. In this instance, I'm gonna label it test and select done. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna start measuring. So I'm gonna hit start. It is going to prompt me to connect to Bluetooth. So I'm gonna select my device. Now I'm connected. Now that I'm connected, I can start walking to my first point. So I have a known starting point. I'm gonna to begin to walk to this first cone. Once I get to this cone, I'm going to mark the point. I'm going to turn and continue walking my path. Now I can draw any kind of shape I want. So I can go ahead, put a couple loops in here, mark another point and continue walking. Mark a point. start to beep as I begin to approach my known starting point. 
And then once I reach that point, I'm gonna have a so solid beep with a green light around it. I can select stop. So once I have my path measured, I can zoom out, see my entire path, and then I can go into my measurement menu. I can select that path, and I can actually see all of the measurements I did, including perimeter, area, the first, second, third, and fourth measurements. When I scroll back up, there's actually an estimation feature. So if I select the estimator, it brings up a very simple calculator where I can do volume calculations, I can do um, area subtraction calculations from a larger space, as well as any addition, subtraction, division, anything you need, all on the app. So once you're done with the project, you can actually export it off your phone. So you'll select export, and from here you can export it as a DXF file, a JPEG, or even a plot file so you can send it to another user's phone where they can then edit the projects themselves. If you select DXF or JPEG, you can then name the file, and then you can then hit OK and export from there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make multiple paths. Real quickly, I'm going to measure one path that we'll use later, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain how to make a second path. I'm going to go ahead and start. Now that I have that first path measured, I can go ahead and create a second path. So I'm going to face the other direction, go to my tools menu, select paths. I can then select new path. I can go ahead and change the color if I want. In this instance, I'm going to make it green. And then I'm good to start my project. So for now, because I'm facing the other direction, I'm going to select my line. I'm going to rotate the angle and then bring it back to my starting point. And then I can go ahead and hit start and begin walking. Now, the great thing with Carta is that I don't have to just walk straight lines. I can draw curves, I can make irregular shapes, and then I can go back to my starting point. So this is great for when I'm measuring gardens, pools, anything that I really want to do with a kind of irregular shape. And then once I'm back to my starting point, I'll hit stop. And we've got two shapes. So not only when you're in the paths menu, you can change the color, but you can also hide certain paths. And if you needed to, you can delete paths. So Carta also has this feature called guide mode. If you have a known starting point and you're facing the same direction you mapped out your project, you can actually get to any point in your project that you previously measured. To do that, I'm going to select my path, hit my tool menu, and go to guide mode. Here, I can select the points individually or hit select all, and then I can hit guide to begin guiding. On the screen, you're gonna see my starting point light up and it's going to have orange arrows. That is gonna show me which direction I'm facing. So even if I'm not going to where my known point was, I can see how far I'm off of that point and redirect myself until I'm there. So as I start to get closer, it'll start to beat. And then once I'm there, I can select next point and continue on to my project. I can either follow the line, walk around, but once I'm there, you'll hear the beep again, hit next and continue on until I'm done with my project. And then know where every single point of my project is and I can remark it. So another amazing feature with Carta is the set distance alarms. So I can do anything like fencing and have a known distance. It will actually alert me every time I get to that set distance. To do that, I'll go to my tool menu, 
go to set distance and I can manually enter in that distance or change my measuring units. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in eight feet. And as I'm walking, it's going to beep as well as automatically mark that point when I get there. Then I can go ahead and stop my project and go ahead and look at my measurements every eight feet. So if I'm ever measuring a lot that's next to a building or some sort of obstruction, you might realize that the wheel itself might not be able to get all the way to the wall. Well, Carta's got a feature where I can actually adjust for that measurement so I can make sure that all my measurements in my project are accurate. So how I'm gonna to wanna to do that is I can go to my tool menu, go to the adjust feature, a little menu is gonna pop up and tell me that it's going to add the radius to each one of my measurements. Now, it sounds super complicated. What I'll have to do is hit okay, a button pops up, and when I hit start to start measuring, and then I reach my obstruction, I'm gonna hit add. It will then add that radius of the wheel so I can just turn, continue my measurement. And then add again, so I'm back to zero. And then I can measure my entire project.